sa lahat ng mga bubbles at mga bubbles na nanonood, maraming salamat po. Now, let's, let's turn it over to Jeffrey Olila Garcia of uh, Jeff Oligar TV. Hi, uh, Jeff. Go ahead. Ayun, magandang magandang gabi sa lahat ng mga yun, nanonood sa online and dito rin sa venue. Bubbles, hello. And sa lahat ng cast, direct May, direct Ian, Sir Jay. Ayan, ang unang question ko ay para kay Darren. Di ba? Nakikilala, na, nakikilala ka na natin bilang isang singer, performer. Paano mo naman pinaghantan itong Can't Buy Me Love bilang kauna-unahang serye mo? Yes po. Hello po. Good evening everyone. Ano po, second series ko, pero the first one was okay. Lyric and Beat. Para siyang mini series for I Want TFC. So, ito po yung first teleserye ko talaga na um, yun, weekdays siya pinapalabas and stuff like that. So, how did I prepare for the role? I play Stephen Tanue ko po in Can't Buy Me Love. So, para siyang yan, best friend po ni Caroline. Yun lang gusto ko. Hindi ko na alam kung ano pwede mo sabihin. <laughs> Kinakabahan din ako eh. <laughs> so, Wait lang, best friend ni Caroline? Opo. Uh, so, mabait or masama ka ba? Ma ano? <laughs> kay Donnie ha? naman. Kay Donnie. Ha? Kay Donnie naman. Hindi, wala pang interaction yung characters namin. Oi, okay, ano. okay, okay. <laughs> Sabi ni Pal, uy, naspoil na naman. Hindi, wala pa naman. Wala so, pa, wala opo. pa naman. Okay. Wala pa kaming na-shoot masyado, so... <laughs> yun din. Basta, ayoko nang magsalita. <laughs> Kasi kinakabahan talaga ako. Ang daming pwedeng maano eh. Sa konti lang nasabihin ko. But anyway, of course. Preparing for the role of Stephen Tanway ko po. Nag-workshops uh, nga po kami for Fukinis. Kami po ni Bell. And what else did we do? Of course, I talked to Direk May about my character. Kasi ano po eh, we did acting workshops. Kasi masyado akong mabait. So, yung role ni Stephen kasi, he's a bit cold to everyone. Um, but to Caroline, parang siya po yung... He's a bit warmer to Caroline um, in terms of personality. So, yun po yung isa sa mga traits ng aking character. Um, but to everyone else, medyo may, may pagka masungit, ganun. So, medyo nahirapan po ako dun kasi parang natural na sa akin yung laging nakangiti. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, po. At least you're playing up, uh, you're portraying a role, di ba? Yes. Open. Lalo, lalo na kay Caroline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, go ahead. Okay, uh, next question ko para kay Miss Rufa. As, uh, yun, dami na natin sila, Sir uh, Direk, uh, Rowell, Miss Agot. Ano na yung mga advice or tips na binibigay niyo sa mga young young ones? Lalo na kina Donny at Belle para mas gumanda yung craft nila bilang isang Actor, well, um, I've known Donnie since he was a kid because I'm, I'm good friends with Maricel and Anthony Pangilinan. I've just met uh, Belle, but I can see that they're both very professional. They love their craft. Um, ang my advice ko lang, if you want to stay long in the industry is it's not just about being mahusay in your craft. I think kailangan marunong ka rin makisama which is nakikita ko sa kanila yon. kasi you may not be the best actor and the best actress but if you're easy to work with then they will always get you for future roles yes uh, Ms. Rufa do you want some food? I can get you why? I, I can get you right now yes, coffee na lang coffee? thank you, you. All right. thank you thank you Ms. Rufa um, Jeff you have other more uh, uh, yes like, well, um, like, well. I'll just get your coffee hindi lang <laughs> hindi lang siguro kay Donnie at saka kay Belle I guess it's the entire cast, yung mga young group, no? Parang, the moment I step in the set, parang natuwa ako sa kanila talaga. Yung parang ang feeling ko, ah, walang, walang ere. Lahat sila, uh, magagalang sila, at saka mabilis. At saka, actually, sometimes pag umaarte na sila, na-amaze ako, ang gagaling nila. Siguro parang bago talaga sinabak ng ABS sila in front of the camera, handang-handa sila. Uh, plus the fact na ma makikita mo talaga na they're very patient sa set, kahit na hindi pa sila kinukunan, uh, inaaliho nila ang sarili, <laughs> sarili nila. Dahil, syempre, alam naman natin, maraming waiting dito, no? Pero, inaaliho nila ang sarili nila, but hindi yung parang nagwawala. Because the moment they do a scene, they're into their character. Talagang amazed din ako talaga sa kanila. Isagot. 
Actually, nasabi na nilang lahat, no? But I would like to point out, si Belle, kasi I've worked with sa probinsyano when baby pa siya noon, like seven years ago. But now I see yung, yung confidence niya talaga has really parang helped her. And ang, ang husay mo na, Belle. I mean, not that you were ano, before, but you matured and you so much confidence right now. And it's so pleasing to see. I'm so happy. Okay, right. thank you po and thank you. And thank you and support natin ng Kent by Mila. Yes, maraming salamat. For it and personally, yeah. I'm also a bubbly too. Oh. Ayan, bubblies. Sure ka ba, bubblies or bula? Or bubbles? Pwede both. Pwede both. Okay, bubblies, bubblies. Yung bubblies. Bubblies! Relax lang kayo, relax lang. Maraming salamat now. Let's turn over to... Jim P. Anarcon, uh, one of my faves, Freebie Manila. Thank you. Hello. Good evening po. Ang um, first question, i-flesh out ko lang po kay Ms. Nova Villa kasi na-mention niyo naman po earlier that this is your comeback sa ABS after 13 years. So, kamusta lang po yung pagbabalik and what made you say yes to come back to your original home network? Actually, I'm a freelancer now. I had a contract with uh, JMA before after ng ABS tapos the freelancer na ako I just cannot resist the offer na napakaganda dito sa aming teleserye ngayon kaya I'm back and uh, nakapagpaalam naman ako ng mahusay and they gave the, the blessing kaya nandito ako ngayon masaya naman po yung ano, environment sa inyong pagbabalik like did something change or kailangan nyo pa po bang mag-adjust ulit? Um, at home ako sa ABS because I've been here for 36 years. Um, lahat kaibigan ko. And one thing I've noticed talaga, super babait ng, ano, ng staff ng aming from the director to uh, lahat, everybody, even the crew and uh, lahat po ng mga nag-aalaga sa amin sa ano sa taping they're very nice they're very loving concerned ganun po kaya walang kaba walang very at home and happy ayun thank you so much po miss nova then yeah. for darren naman um first question muna bakit naging darren na lang Ang ating screen name. Dinasaon na po ako ng pamilya ko. The joke na. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi po. Um, I feel like it goes better with, you know, the the brand that I'm trying to portray also as a singer din po and as an artist. So, it's not really much of a big deal. Um, but for now, it's just there and nga po. Yeah. So, perfect ba na you are doing your first teleserie with the parang rebrand? And yeah. follow up ko na rin, no? Parang, kamusta yung experience? Kasi kanina, although napag-usapan naman na, pero kasi iba yung level yung pag-shoot ng daily na na teleserye than yung sa lyric and beat na weekly or can na bago nyo maipalabas, di ba? Yeah, there's definitely more pressure po kasi um, it's something that we are always shooting almost on a daily basis, lalo na po silang dalawa, si Donny at si Bell. And... You really have to know your lines, know your character once you're on the set. Unlike when we shot Lyric and Beat, which was a canned series, um, we had more time to prepare din po. Tsaka, alam na namin kung ano yung produkto ng ilalabas namin uh, before everyone else got to see it. So with this one, um, you just have to be more uh, concentrated on your character, more focused every time you're on set para mas mabilis din po yung um, shoot namin. Yeah. So, naka-adjust ka na sa teleserye lifestyle? Yeah, okay naman po. Um, everyone is very helpful. Tsaka, our directors are always there to guide us sa lahat po ng mga shoot namin. So, hindi ako yung type na parang kinakabahan kapag um, nasa set. Because I feel that everyone's there to be able to help me and guide me with my role din po. Ayun. Thank you, Darren. And last, pahabol na lang, sorry. Go ahead, For direct me and Sir Jay lang, no? Kasi... Um, na-notice lang doon sa trailer na parang ito na yung bagong generation nga ng timeless love story kasi sa mula sa puso, di ba may ganito din and then maging sino ka man which you were both part of. So, parang how will this define lang the current um, love story ng generation natin and yung bagong parang epic love story on TV? Direct. 
So, una dun sa, well, two things, I guess. Una is the intensity because of, ang dami na din naman nating mga palabas na napanood. Iba na rin yung, yung demand ng audience for intensity. Intensity in terms of emotions, inter- intensity in terms of uh, mga plots, kung ano yung mga nangyayari. So, something, I mean, like, of recent years, ngayon lang natin ulit natin, ngayon lang natin narinig yung word, the binging. So, is this show bingeable? Can I watch this for, ano, it, it's, it's also part of the, of the vocabulary of creating a teleserye. So, that's one. The other one is, um, also because of, we've seen a lot of romance, comedies, romance, dramas, this particular show was at a certain dose of reality. Kasi, and that is something that the generation now is asking authenticity, um, real, reality. Um, is this something realistic? Kunyari, when we are talking about, di ba, mayaman, mahirap, we've never really asked, talaga ba? I mean, like, kapag may mayaman at mahirap ba talaga sa totoong buhay, they would fall in love this way? So, yung, yung question of that reality and that sense of authentic um, appreci- uh, authenticity. So, that is something that is new for this particular show. Um, very well said, Jay. Um, but to add to that, I think yung, ano, yung love stories ngayon demand more than just kilig. I, um, the audience, kasi they're very much aware, especially the youth. They're very aware now, and maraming pinagdaanan ng youth ngayon. So, to tell a love story, you have to be grounded, you have to go beyond kilig. You have to um, talk about what's, uh, what's going on in the world, what's going on, what's real for them. So, hindi lang siya basta ano, parang you have to, there's more to the story than just the romance. And as you've seen with the trailer, di ba, parang it's a roller coaster ride. And not only is it a roller coaster ride na parang both because of the suspense and all, but because of what they are, the characters are dealing with. Thank you so much, Bo and Donnie Bell. Congratulations, also. And thank you, James. You know, I just want to go back to that word bingeable. Uh, I want to ask Sir Jay. Uh, syempre, can you define what's bingeable, Yups? <laughs> next question. Next question. Okay, bingeable. Um, when this drops next week, actually, ilang episodes po we yung namin agad? May napag-usapan na ba? Kasi gusto namin in next episode agad pagkatapos namin panood eh. Diba? na excited ka na? Or in the works pa rin, mag, malalaman lang namin pagating? Oh. Um, it's seven, it, 72 hours ahead ng Netflix for the first episode. So, sa free TV, it is Monday to Friday. Um, pag sa I Want TV, it's Saturday to Thursday. And then sa Netflix, it's um, Thursday. Tama ba ako? Thursday? Ah, Friday, sorry. Friday, Friday until Wednesday. Uh, so every day? Every day. Oh. So, first episode, so day one, the first episode is going to air on Netflix 72 hours prior. All right. Okay. Well, that answers our question. Thank you. And now, let's uh, ask naman, Alora, Yubes, and Ketchup. Yes, kayo yun. Kamusta yung pakiramdam to be part of the series? And tell us more about your characters and connection nyo kay Nabel and Donnie. Uh, let's go with the Alorski first. Ladies' choice. Yeah. <laughs> first, ladies first. Yeah. Hello, pa ako po si uh, Bierna dito, di ba? <laughs> Gusto niyo yung name ko. Um, bale, sa po ako sa kapit bahay ni Donny dito. So feeling ko eh yung mga manonood is medyo maiinis na matutuwa na kahit ako hindi ko din alam ko anong mangyayari. Pero sobrang excited po kasi um, na maging parte ng telesere na ito kasi nung nalaman ko pa lang na makakatrabaho ko si Direk May, super excited ako kasi feeling ko macha-challenge ako. Kasi last time na nagkatrabaho kami, unbreakable, di ba Direk? Super challenge niya ako kasi pinasampal lang naman niya sa akin si Miss Bea Alonzo. So, nung nalaman ko talaga na magiging parte, sabi ko talaga, ay, challenging to. Cut to, sa first um, eksena pa lang namin, challenging na kasi, halos adlib lang kami. So, parang ilalagay kami, okay, adlib kayo. Ah, ganun po ba? Sige po. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oo. So, yun po isa sa mga challenging talaga na... Uh, pero super excited po ako and 
sana po eh maka-exena din ng mga taga Binondo, ang mga taga oh, Yamanin. Sana nga. Oo, no? sana po talaga. And of Nakakaya. course, isa sa mga isa sa mga talagang exciting na uh, mangyayari at uh, ni look forward po namin kasi nagchikahan kami nila doon. Lalo na magiging matagal kami sa Binondo is magfo-food trip talaga kami doon. Yes. Kaya, mga taga Binondo dahil true. mayaman naman yung side na yan eh. So, Oo, kaya tayo muna. Eh. Maraming Medyo maraming ka. salamat po sa mga taga Binondo at uh, pinahiram po ninyo sa amin ang napakagandang lugar po ninyo. Tama, tama. Thank you. And then speaking of uh, Binondo and the fields, no, um, actually I talked to Derek uh, May Cruz Alvear a while ago and sinabi niya, this was part of the set na ginamit for a scene. So yes, you guys are immersing in the very scene. One of the scenes na Can't Buy Me Love. And uh, with that, palapakan naman natin ang ating uh, design uh, department. And the art dev, the best for you. Okay, thank you, Alorski. How about you, Kuya Yubes? Um, Unang-una, maraming salamat dahil uh, nakasama. Okay ka lang ba? <laughs> nakasama ako. Paki isang ano nga. <laughs> nakasama ako sa show na to. Uh, sabihin ko lang sa inyo na ang swerte namin lahat dahil ang gagalang ng bida namin. Swerte kami dahil napasama kami sa first series. Right, di ba? Sabi nila kasi pag una daw, mahirap. Pangalawa, pangatlo, okay na. Di ba? Hindi, <laughs> 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 <De>, seryoso. Hindi, <laughs> seryoso. Bahala ka dyan. Hindi. <laughs> artista tong mga bata. Yes, yes. Kids. Bukod sa artista sila, magagalang sila. Kaya napakaswerte namin dahil Madali namin nagagawa yung seryosong pagpapatawa namin. Maraming salamat. Ko <laughs> <laughs> may may ano ka timing ka, ang galing-galing. Um, Sir Ketchup. How about you? Okay naman. Okay. Naman. <laughs> <laughs> maraming 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 salamat. <laughs> Hindi mo kami mag- ano, ma- ma- move on sa sinabi mo. Oo nga. Eh. Ah, kami salamat. Ano ulit yung question? Ang question mo natin. <laughs> How okay. should we? Okay. Um, I'm very grateful na na-consider ako na makasama sa, so especially thank you very much Direct May. Um, I'm very proud to say na, na yeah, na-consider ako na maging tatay ni Donny dito sa sa show namin na to. Oo. Magkawa diba? naman eh. Ah, oo, sinabi ko naman sa nanay niya na <laughs> hindi man kita mabigyan ng magandang buhay, mabibigyan kita ng magandang lahi. <laughs> <laughs> Sinigurado ko lang yun. And aside from that, no. Um, seriously, I'm very happy and I'm working with the two of the most hardworking and very professional uh, love teams right now. And I know they're gonna go miles and places from here. And aside from working with a great cast kasama namin, it's also a privilege and an honor to be working with the great Nova Villa as my mom dun sa aming show. And um, very confident lang ako na magagawa namin to dahil si Direct May, one of my earliest mentors and directors ever since I started. So, alam ko we're always on the same page every time we step on the set. So, it's gonna be easy. Yeah. should be easy. It, it feels like a reunion for you. Too. Always yeah. with Direct May. And Direct Kathy right, right yes. now that we're doing. And also si Direct Ian, uh, we did an MMK episode. And solid. So I'm very excited on how it, the story will unfold to everybody. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for sharing us those stories to us. <laughs> okay, now let's ask Chi naman. And I'm gonna ask this with feelings. Anong klasing Chi yung may kita namin rito? Malayo ba yung characteristics ng character mo sa iyo? Yung cliche na sagot, ibang-iba po yung mga kita niyo dito. <laughs> Iba po yung suot. Well, I am playing Jersey Lim. Uh, I am the best friend of Caroline, which is Miss Bel Mariano. So, um, so may kita natin dito kasi it's ve- she's very kikay and yun yung mga roles na piniplay ko for the longest time. But the beauty of this is paano ko pa may excel yung character kung paano ko pa siya ma differentiate sa iba mga characters na na-play ko. And um, very collaborative po kaming lahat dito which is very good as in parang ang saya lang mag-work kasi lahat nagtutulungan. 
And um, I can't wait na uh, ma-share namin yung story ni Jersey and ni Caroline kung paano po yung rapport nila. And grateful also sa Star Creatives and everyone po for trusting us to play these roles. And it's so nice to work with you again, Derek Kath. Ay, Derek, uh, Derek May, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> na ano na ako, kinakabahan na ako. Direct May, kasi nag-work po kami. Crazy Beautiful You and Can't, uh, can't Help Falling in Love. And yung role ko po doon is maglalakad po sa aisle. Tapos sabi ni Direk, kaya mo bang umiyak? So sinabi ko po sa kanya, opo. Tapos nag-play siya ng... Um, Wa, yung why? Ito, ito mismo yun. Ito, ito yun yung play? Oo, oh, oh, ito na yun. Ito, ito na yun. yun. Nag-walk ako sa aisle. Tapos, tapos nung play na niya yun, hindi ko kasi alam ipiplay ni Direk. Halo, umiiyak ako. Tapos sabi ni Kat, na-feel mo yun, no? <laughs> tapos, I'm just really happy and grateful for everyone also. Thank you so much. And abangan niyo po, Can't Buy Me Love. Malapit na malapit na. It's okay, Chi. It's okay. Thank you. And also, congratulations for the uh, success of a very good girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pa. Good job. Blessings everywhere. All right.